Eighth grade, open up resources, illustrative math, unit two, lesson five, more dilations. Problem number one, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is dilated with center coordinates zero, zero, taking B to B prime. Draw A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. First, I want to identify the center coordinates zero, zero. Next, I'll measure the distance from the center point 0, 0 to point B. And then I can compare that to the distance from the center point 0, 0 to point B prime. And I notice that it has a scale factor of 2 because the distance from center point 0, 0 to B prime is twice the distance than from center point 0, 0 to B. Now that I know it's a scale factor of 2, I can repeat this process extending from center point through the other points using a scale factor of two and plotting the points for the dilation. Connect the points and you'll see the dilation A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. Here's an accurate method that you can use to help you place the point for the dilation. Start at the center point and count over three and up one and it takes you to B. Since it's a scale factor of two, start at B and move three to the right and go up one and place your point for B prime. And repeat that process for the other points. Left two, up three, left two, up three, left three, down two, left three, down two, and finally right one, down one, right one, down one. Problem number two, triangles B and C have been built by dilating triangle A. A. Find the center of dilation. One method would be to draw straight lines from the corresponding angles, extending them past the points. Where these two lines intersect will be the center of dilation. B. Triangle B is a dilation of A with approximately what scale factor? I need to see how many times a side length from triangle A would fit into the corresponding side length of triangle B. The side length fits approximately four times, so the scale factor is approximately four. C. Triangle A is a dilation of B with approximately what scale factor? So this is like the opposite of question B. Now I have to find out how many times a side length from B fits into the corresponding side length of A. The side length of triangle B fits approximately one fourth into the corresponding side length of triangle A. So the scale factor is approximately one fourth. D. Triangle B is a dilation of C with approximately what scale factor? Now we have to find out how many times a side length from triangle C will fit into the corresponding side length of triangle B. Approximately two-thirds of the side length from triangle C fits into the corresponding side length of triangle B, so the scale factor is approximately two-thirds. Problem number three. Here is a triangle. A. Draw the dilation of triangle ABC with center coordinates 0, 0 and scale factor 2. Label this triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. First, I will identify the coordinates 0, 0 as the center. And next, I'm going to find the distance A is from the center point. 4 to the right and 2 down. And since this is a scale factor of 2, I need to go 4 to the right and 2 down to find the point for A prime. Repeat the process for the other points. 2 to the left and 2 down. 2 to the left and 2 down. And you found the location for B prime. 2 to the left and 2 up. 2 to the left and 2 up. And you found the location for C prime. Now connect the dots and you can see the triangle for A prime, B prime, C prime with center point 0, 0 and a scale factor of 2. B. Draw the dilation of triangle ABC with center point 0, 0 and scale factor 1 half. Label this triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. First I identify the center, 0, 0, and then I find the distance from the center to A. That's 4 to the right and 2 down. Since this dilation is a half a scale, 
I need to move two to the right and one down. This is where I put my point to represent A double prime. Now I'll do the same thing for the rest of the points. Let's go to B. It's two to the left and two down. And half of that would be one to the left and one down. And that's where I can put my point that represents B double prime. And finally, let's do the same for C. Two to the left and two up. Half of that would be one to the left and one up. That's where I can put my point that represents C double prime. Now connect these points with lines and you'll see the dilation with a scale factor of one half. C. Is A double prime, B double prime, C double prime a dilation of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime? If yes, what are the center of dilation and the scale factor? Let me bring up the A prime, B prime, C prime triangle. If you take a close look, you'll see that the outside larger triangle is exactly four times bigger than the smaller triangle on the inside. So I would answer this as yes. A double prime, B double prime, C double prime is a dilation of A prime, B prime, C prime. And the center of dilation is the coordinates 0, 0. If you take a close look, you'll see that A double prime, B double prime, C double prime is exactly one fourth the distance away from the center compared to A prime, B prime, C prime. So the scale factor is one fourth. Problem number four from eighth grade unit one, lesson 15. Triangle ABC is a right triangle and the measure of angle A is 28 degrees. What are the measures of the other two angles? It's important to remember that the sum of all three angles in every triangle totals 180 degrees. The information provided the measure of two of the three angles. Since it's a right triangle, we know that a right triangle has a 90 degree angle. So 180 degrees minus 90 degrees leaves us with 90 degrees. We have just one angle left and that's the 28 degree angle. So 90 degrees minus 28 degrees equals 62 degrees. So the measures of the other two angles are 90 degrees and 62 degrees.